Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, go down and click subscribe. If you're a return viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to talk about in this video is a few pieces of gear that QNAP has sent me. So yes, that is correct. Another competitor enters the cage and it is QNAP and we are going to start fully supporting and deploying QNAP right alongside all of the other um, solutions that we do offer. So we're going to have two really solid uh, um, NAS systems that we use here and you're familiar with the other brand and now the new brand is QNAP and you've seen over the last year or so they've sent me uh, they sent me that switch that had a NAS built into it. They've also uh, sent me this is their 2.5 and 5 gig adapter which works way better than the Sovereign that I had, which I could not get to transfer at um, 2.5 or 5 gigs, and the QNAP just works. Uh, thank you QNAP for sending all this stuff over. You're going to see us use the QNAP 10 gig adapter. So the model on this is the QNA T310G1T, and the model on this one is uh, QNAUC5G1T. So these are the network adapters we'll be using when we're dealing with the QNAP NASs. Now, they did send me this, they sent me two NASs, and I also have a 10 gig switch. So you're gonna see a video on the multi-gig uh, switch all by itself later. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the TS-253D, and then in follow-up videos, we're gonna do speed tests and comparisons and all those things. This NAS has so much to offer that I don't even want to try to cram it into one video because we're not going to do it any justice. Now, if you do need or want to add 2.5 gig networking to your current home or office, this is the QNAP uh, 2.5 gig switch. It's, it's a no frills switch, but it does 2.5 gig. It is the QSW1105-5T it literally just gives you five ports of 2.5 gig and it's not PoE or anything like that. Now, if you go out and you look for this right now on Amazon, you're gonna see this thing for like 300 bucks. This is not a 300 bucks switch. Don't feed the trolls. Don't pay the gougers prices. Uh, look somewhere else besides Amazon. But this is a great little switch and I'm gonna add that. This is actually gonna get mounted um, to my desk. The 10 gig switch is going to get mounted in the new lab rack that you saw if you follow me on social media. So let's get down to the brass tacks, what you are here to see. And I'm going to unplug the ethernet cable real quick. It's going to freak out for a second. This is the uh, QNAP TS-253D. So it is a uh, two disc NAS, you can see the discs in there. Now, um, on the side, there is a little lock right here that you can lock so that the face doesn't won't come off. Um, over here, you've got your standard LEDs. The LED at the top that you can see that is red is actually an eye for information. It lets us know that the system has information that it wants to tell us. The uh, next one down is the network. And then we've got uh, our discs down there, one and two. We've got a USB port on the front. Flip this bad boy around. Up here at the top, we have an expansion card. Yes, an expansion slot in a two disc NAS. We've got this huge system fan with a warning here. You've got an HDMI port and you're probably wondering about that. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. We've got two 2.5 gig Ethernet ports and four USB ports and a Kensington lock and of course then our AC adapter plugs in down there. I've been playing around with this and I gotta tell you I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, obviously I've got a lot of catching up to do because I haven't used uh, you know QNAP um, day in day out in a long time and the system has changed a lot since the last time I was using it regularly. So. Um, and the other thing that I want to talk about too is I know we see QNAP in the security advisories uh, often. Well, there are 3 million, according to my source at QNAP, they have 3 million plus deployed devices. And of those, 
I am guessing that most of the problems that we see are because admins do not install the latest software, the up-to-date software, and then they expose these things to the internet. So I'm not going to place all the blame on I'm not going to place all the blame on QNAP with that. So sometimes admins need to do what's right, install the security updates, and not put these things on the internet without uh, proper security. So let's hop over to the computer. I've already changed the default username and password. The hard drive's pretty much provision on this, the same as any other NAS that you're used to. So here is our main screen. Now I accidentally had a power outage, so it wants to check the hard drives, but I'm gonna remind us later on that. Here's that information center, and it gave us a warning um, because it was very upset that I unplugged the network. So that's why we've got that red warning light on. And we should be um, good there. I'm clearing all those, so those notifications are gone. Um, over here we've got a dashboard. And it says one or more storage pool arrays are nearly full. So that is actually probably what's triggering the info. So we'll take a look at that um, in another video. What that means is I've committed all of the storage. Not that my storage is full with files, but that I've committed all of my storage. So we'll uh, look at that. Um, this is a really nice little quick dashboard. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to hop over here to control panel. And you're going to see that this has an Intel Celeron J4125 CPU at 2 gigahertz and has 4 gigs of memory. Now, we're probably wondering about that HDMI port. So if we bring up the HDMI display applications, this hybrid desk station is gonna allow us to do a lot of things using this as almost like a PC. It's gonna allow us to use the NVR locally and all of the NVR features locally without having to connect to this remotely. I'm gonna be able to use it right on a monitor with a mouse and a keyboard. They've got a media player. You can surf the web using Chrome. Uh, Clementine is a music player that you can use. You can surf Facebook, look at the files. There's Firefox, LibreOffice, Surveillance Station, Music Station, QTS. So you can actually get to the NAS locally into this uh, screen using the HDMI and a keyboard and mouse. Photo Station, QVR Pro Client, Skype, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, and Video Station. So you could use this as a light PC as well. Now, given that it's only two disks and right now it's only got four gigs of RAM, you're probably gonna take some performance hits there, but the option um, is definitely available. There are a lot of apps that I'm really excited about uh, with QNAP that we're gonna get into. Real quick though, I wanna show you one of the things that QNAP keeps improving on is their network and virtual switch. Um, Right now you can see that um, we've got two network connections, 10.255.10.12 is our gateway. This is the one we're actually connected to. It's connected to that switch, which is connected to a pr protectly. And then adapter two actually just went to the uh, disconnected state because I no longer am plugged into that. But they, uh, you can get advanced with this and you can start doing some kind of cool things with uh, virtual adapters and virtual switches. So you could actually load your router on here for your network and run it through a, uh, a VM. So they've got some kind of cool things happening with virtual interfaces. And we're gonna check all of this out. We're gonna jump into QNAP just the same way that we jump into um, all of these systems. And especially when we wanna be able to help those of you out there that have questions or problems with these. There is one application that I am super, super, super excited about. So if we go over here to App Center, and I think it's under Utilities. Yes, it's called QRM Plus. So this appears to be like QNAP's own RMM solution because it'll allow you to discover, map, monitor, and manage all the critical devices such as servers, PCs, thin clients in your network. So I'm super duper excited to try to try that out. There are so many different uh, applications. You you know how this goes. Um, and then that the uh, QRM does looks like it does have an agent where we can 
monitor, you know, RAM usage, CPU usage, all that good stuff. So we're really going to be jumping into this. I've been playing around with this. In the next video, we're going to do, I know you want to see the 2.5 gig file transfer. So that is what we're going to do in the next video. I'm actually going to use, um, I'm actually going to use my, my MacBook uh, Pro, my M1, uh, because it is a little bit faster than the machine that I'm recording this video on. And while I'm recording video, it really bogs down the transfer sometimes. So uh, we're going to do that as well. But if you've got any questions, anything specific you want to see, if you're looking for an entry into the QNAP ecosystem, I think that this is a really good option. I'll leave a link down in the, uh, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description. So I'm super excited about this. I hope you're as excited about getting into QNAP videos as I am. Now we're not giving up on any vendors. We're just adding this to the fold. So whatever you want to see, whatever questions you've got, put them down in the comments. I'll try to answer those um, and uh, get ready for QNAP videos. And if you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and uh, please like, follow, comment, all those good things. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are all down below. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by using all of our affiliate links, they are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, I'm Willie. I'm super excited about this QNAP gear. Thank you, QNAP, for working with me on this. And as always, I will see you in the next video.